so excited. Well, I'm a huge Green Day fan. I love Green Day. I love musicals, and I love coming to see shows at the Amundsen. I love them. Can I curse? Green Day manages to channel feelings of, of, of many people in their music. This album in particular is a real commentary on the post 9-11 world. A lot of people out there searching for answers. Um, and, and I know that when I'm searching for answers, I look to art to inspire me. And I do want to see theater evolve. And their audience goes from older, a lot older than me to a lot younger than me. My, my kids love them. And kids I've had that I don't know I had love them. It wasn't until um, I saw the show in New York that I was like blown away and now have become a Green Day fan since. It didn't stop and they carried out the attitude from beginning to end. Energy, everyone's stage Everybody presence was just amazing. giving it. Ooh, I just wanted yes. to get up there. Whatever. You try to live on your own. The very first uh, concert I ever went to was a Green Day concert when I was like 11. To be performing their music here is it's a it's a total thrill. In terms of genre, this kind of pushes the limits in terms of what a musical can be. It's more like a rock opera. It's it's thrilling to be a part of because the music is so honest and so raw, and you don't have to really think about singing it. It kind of just comes out with the emotion and a beautiful sound is heard. I've never been involved with a show that asks so many questions of the audience and catches people off guard. I think that art should be totally unexpected and you should never be able to think ahead of it. With Tom Kitt, the guy who orchestrated this show, it's the music is not not just simple punk music. It's it's really like layered and there's a whole like emotional arc to everything. Well, I think the collaborative effort with Green Day and, and Tom Kitt and Michael Mayer making that vision come together, Green Day was so, so giving of their time and their, their music. I think when material is, is, is emotional, when it resonates, um, and it's theatrical, it, it doesn't matter what age bracket you're in, uh, you're gonna have an experience. You know, Broadway is kind of uh, crossing different ages and different cultures, and so if you wanna be sitting in your chair and be distant from it, no, but if you wanna really have a great time and engage with the audience and with the performers, it's really fun. The great thing that can happen is somebody comes to the theater for the very first time, you know, and they see American Idiot, and they fall in love with the theater because American Idiot is greater than anything they've ever seen before. That's happened to all of us in our lives at one point or another, and it's always been at some of the most inopportune times. I think it's gonna be work, you think it's going to be a chore, and it's, it's absolutely magical, so God bless Green Day and their effort.